Welcome chemistry students to video 75 which we cover unit 73. Now we are going to use our chemical formulas to calculate the percent composition. So some vocab that we need to review very quickly is formula mass and its equivalence to molar mass as well as what is percent composition. Let's take a quick review here. Formula mass we are basically going to add up all of the components of the formula to get the mass of that compound. So as an example here, H2O, there are two hydrogen atoms, each one with an atomic mass unit of 1.01. That is an atomic mass of 2.02 for hydrogen. Oxygen has a 16 AMUs. Combine those the mass of one molecule of H2O is 18.02 AMUs and if I were asked to write the molar mass for that then you have to remember that one mole of H2O is equivalent to 18.02 grams per mole of water. Now we use the formula mass to find percent composition. Here's the definition. You need to know this. Pause it and write the definition down. The percentage of a compound, all you're going to do is divide the mass of the element by the mass of the whole sample. Multiply it by 100, and that is the percent of the element in a compound. Our examples here we have a 30.1% O and 69.9% iron. If you are given an example like this, you can always assume the sample is 100 grams. And that makes it easy. So 100 grams. So then I have 30.1 grams of oxygen and 69.9 grams of iron. So if you're ever given the percentages there, it's really easy to assume that the whole sample of iron and oxygen is 100 grams instead of just out of 100%. Just assume that it's 100 grams and then you get the masses. So that's really easy to do. We can use this formula then in some calculations and we can try that on the next slide here to look at an example problem. So let's go ahead and look here. Calculate the percent composition for the compound below. Well my first step for HGO is to get the molar mass or the formula mass for HGO. In this, in this case mercury plus, plus oxygen is going to be 200.59 that's right off the periodic table plus the mass of oxygen which is 16 gives me 216.59 grams of HGO. Find the percent composition. I'm going to take the mass of mercury divided by the mass of the whole compound. So in this example here to find the percent of mercury you are going to use the mass of mercury divided by the mass of the whole compound multiply it by 100, there's my percentage. I can do the same thing for oxygen where I take the mass of oxygen divided by the mass of the whole compound, multiply by 100 to get my percentage. Let's look at another example here. NH42S, so ammonium sulfide. This one's a little more complicated. I'm again trying to find the percent composition of nitrogen in the whole compound, the percent of hydrogen in the whole compound, and the percentage of sulfur in the entire compound. I need the mass of nitrogen and the mass of hydrogen and the mass of sulfur. So I have two nitrogens because I have to distribute that in. Two times four is eight hydrogens and I have one sulfur adding their atomic masses up, I get a formula mass of 68.17 and this could be viewed as AMUs. 
Moving on, we need to get the percentages of nitrogen in the compound. I'm going to take the mass of nitrogen, I have two of them, divided by the whole compound, multiplied by 100 to get my percentage. Attempt the percent composition for hydrogen and sulfur on your own. Pause the video. And you can check your answers here for the percent of hydrogen and sulfur in the compound. One last example problem here, maybe two. Here we want to look at actually a word problem. We're given 12 grams of potassium hydroxide. And we know that the formula here for potassium hydroxide, because we've practiced our naming rules, is KOH. K has a plus one charge, hydroxide has a minus one charge, they are balanced, so KOH is a good formula. We are given that there are 4.9 grams of hydroxide present, find the percent of potassium in the compound. Well, in this example, I need to start how I have with everything else. I'm going to write down here, really, what I'm given. I'm given 12 grams of potassium hydroxide. 4.98 grams of hydroxide, and I'm asked to find the percentage of K in my compound. I need to know how many grams of potassium I have. Well, I can subtract these two values to determine the grams of K. So right here, I have done that. I've taken the mass of the compound minus the mass of the hydroxide, and I'm left with 7.02 grams of potassium. Now I just use percent composition. Percent composition is the mass of my compound over the mass of the whole thing. And right here you can see that I have the mass of my compound on the bottom. The mass of my element on top multiplied by 100 gives me a 58.5% mass of K in the compound. One final look here at hydrate. We want to calculate the percentage of water in sodium carbonate decahydrate. As a reminder, hydrates are the salts that have little teeny wa water molecules trapped inside of their crystal lattice. So I'm going to start this type of problem the same as I would any other problem. I First and foremost, I need the chemical formula for sodium carbonate. Na carbonate is CO3, but you have to remember carbonate has a negative 2 charge. Sodium has a plus charge, so I need two sodiums. And decahydrate, and that means our dot with deca is 10, hydrate is waters, H2Os, so I have 10 waters. From here, I can get the formula mass or the molar mass of my compound. So I will go ahead and do that. There's my Na2CO3. I'm going to have two NAs multiplied by their mass on the periodic table. I'm going to combine that with one carbon's mass as well as three oxygen masses to get a 105.99 grams of Na2CO3, sodium carbonate. I perform the exact same operation here in getting the mass of my 10 waters, which is 18.02 times 10, because I have 10 waters, to have a total mass of 180.2 grams. And what I need to do now is to take these two masses and add them together for my total mass of the compound. So I'm going to add 105.99 grams plus 180. 2 grams and my total is going to come here to 286.2 grams of sodium carbonate decahydrate and I need with 10 waters. Now going back to the initial question what is the percentage of water in my compound? Well, I need to know the percent of water. So I'm going to take the 
mass of my entire compound, which I just found to be 286.2 grams of Na2CO3 with 10 waters. And I'm going to take the mass of my 10 waters, which is 180.2 grams of water. I will divide those two and multiply by 100 to get my final answer here of 62.96% H2O. And if I really needed to figure out the, let's say, percentage of Na2CO3 of the sodium carbonate, well, I know I always have 100% minus my 62.96% to give me my final answer of 37 points. We're going to do this 0.4% of my Na2 for my final answer. And that is how you calculate percent composition.